Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, see if you agree with us about the things we're going to discuss related to <laughs> habits, habits, <laughs> nasty habits. You can, you, you can be okay. Just need, we're talking I just need about nap, life man. crimes uh, and which is, life which crimes. is worse. Yeah. Life crime. See if you agree with us about which life crime is the worst. I feel like part of the problem today is the way that you've got your jacket over the chair. I feel like that. I feel like that may be your problem. I feel like that's what's been. Oh. That's what's been going. Do you feel better now? I'm back. <laughs> my jacket was disconnected from my back. Let's list them all. Oh Lord. Holes in the body, butthole, uh, ear hole, penis hole, <laughs> nose hole, vagina. Uh, why you? I just, somebody had to say it. Um, like a puncture. Mm, mouth. Um, eye. Nose. Uh, Link said oh, nose. Oh, I lose. <laughs> Ear, See? that was the last hole. Is there any other holes after Link that? Link said ear. Oh, he said ear as well? Yeah, yeah all of your really, follicles. He's really on it today. Yeah. I'm you know really what? on hey, it. Hey, whoever says I put his jacket on right? <laughs> Sharp, boy. His IQ went up 15 points. Mm, vagina. <laughs> I got you with uh, like a puncture. That yeah, was that, that was, was surprising. Good. Yeah, you got that me with a puncture. That threw you off your game, man. That threw you off your game. Okay, so these are like bad things that people could do that aren't crime crimes, they're life crimes. And I'm gonna give you life two crimes. of them, and then you're gonna have to decide which you feel is the worst of the two. Okay. And then like, you're gonna bring someone out who does these things and we're going to punish them. Yeah, totally. Um, for you. instance, not picking up your dog's poop versus clogging a friend's toilet and not saying anything. Not saying anything. Well, as, like talking to it. As we've now established. you've been a bad poop. You didn't go down. Go all the way down. <laughs> as we've established, you uh, have a habit of letting your dogs poop in someone's yard, and then you take it and you kick the poop into a no more a less well groomed part of the yard. This what is, is unacceptable. I, that's, you talked Stevie, about it on your biscuits. Stevie, you he talked is, about it on your he biscuits. He is making a straw man out of me. Okay, then what do you do? I <laughs> always tend to the poops, but instead of wasting a, a plastic bag, if there is big enough leaves from anything I can grab, I will grab a big leaf of something I'll pluck it off of somebody's foliage, and I'll use it, foliage? Yeah, and I'll, foliage. And I'll use the leaf as a, as, okay. a, as a grabber for the poop. And then where does the poop go? And then I put the poop in like, like a wooded area. In their yard. In their yard. <laughs> That a, a, a place where nobody walks or mows grass. Who do you not know that walks? So people walk through the woods all the time. That might be the favorite part of their yard, the I woods can, part. I can tell there's places where people don't walk. <laughs> I stepped in dog poop this weekend. You'll never step in the dog poop that I'm in. In the wooded part of your yard? Well, I did. It was a little bit of karma because I do pick up my dog's poop um, with a bag that's biodegradable. Uh, and, but I tend to, I don't want to like throw it in anyone's trash can. So there's like certain trash cans along the route that are public that I tend to wait for. Oh. But then also like there's some that people leave out that my, I'm just like, if your trash is out, yeah, that's your problem. I do that too. Poop in it. I do that too. But um, I stepped in dog poop on the two step way to the person's trash can to throw away my dog's poop. So I Ooh, felt like, uh, yeah. you know, they had done it on purpose. I felt it, like they were like, oh, you're gonna throw away your poop here? You're mm. gonna step in poop before you throw it away. Uh, but I think the other one's the the life crime. I, what, think, I, I, I think I do agree that if you, man, in a friend's house, like you, you clog the toilet, like, 
I think we're talking about the context of like a get together where you don't know who did it. You know, you're at a friend's house, but because if you're like just a guest at your friend's house, and it's just you and your friend, and you you clog the toilet, they're gonna know it's you. Yeah, like they, that. Right. You're not gonna do that. But this is like you're at a party, mixed company. You gotta. Have, to 15 you gotta. People. You gotta have a plunger and a brush there for everyone to use. Yeah, if you don't have a plunger in your guest bathroom, I kind of feel like you got to deal with the consequences. Right. Right. Like you that's gotta, on you. You got to supply them with the but, So, are you saying the worst what what are you saying is the worst crime? Um, and is frequency considered in your calculation? So, if you did take a dump every day in your friend's <laughs> no. toilet and never I mean, how many frequency? times do you encounter I don't your leave the poop. toilet? So okay. I, I believe you should not leave the poop. So I think that's. Well, hold on, they're both leaving poop. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about dog poop. Because I never leave it. I always either. You just push it to a different part of the yard using, <laughs> the, using their foliage. Foliage. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yes. I mean, now that the more you talk about it, the more I think you're right. Your thing is more wrong. I agree with you. Okay, that's the game. We'll go with that. Okay, here are the next two. Using the 15 items or less line at the grocery store when you have more. There was a curse word in here. When you have There's more. a curse word in here. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can I just don't want to. I don't want to be naughty today. <laughs> when you have more than fifteen items, versus taking someone else's clothes out of a communal washer dryer. Oh, that. Oh. I well, mean, what chase? I think there's a time limit on that. I think there's a there's a grace period for the for the laundry thing. I I agree. I agree. So you think it's it's it, you're touching. Someone's touching your intimates. Is that why you don't like it? Well, I, I like it when people touch my <laughs> intimates. <There's> a... <laughs> no, because I don't know. People. Like I, I was thinking Strange less of a people. building facility, more of a like corner facility. And like in my mind, Strangers. everything around the machines is dirty, and <laughs> you are playing this like floor is lava esque type of game. Uh, wh where do and they so, typically put them? What if they take them out? Where do they typically put them? There's that's bins. that's another calculus. You must There's put bins. them in a nice place. But I agree. I do agree with Chase. Like you know, you've got to monitor your own laundry. You let a certain time period pass, and if the person's not down there, they can't be hogging. What's that? The Fifteen dryer minutes or whatever. Fifteen yeah. minutes. Four, let's say fourteen. Just minutes like fifteen and fifty-nine items. seconds. Here it all, all comes down to fifteens here. I'm more inclined to do it if like someone left their hamper like down there as well. Oh yeah, they have a hamper. It's thirteen minutes. Now why? <laughs> why? Yeah, because yeah, because. That's where I was going. I, 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 I actually going. did a favor for you. I put, yeah. Oh, thank you for touching my intimacy. Now, I actually <laughs> think it should be the same amount of time. I think 15 minutes or 1459 is too long because I think it should be the same as if your professor doesn't show up for class and you can leave <laughs> whatever time that is. And I think that's 10, Ten minutes. minutes. It's 15? Okay. It, officially, it's 15? <laughs> It's 15. Okay. Times they change. Boy, when I was in school. It was 10 and we were out of there. We uh, didn't, we, we had, we didn't, we had this thing called email. That's how we communicated. Yeah. Um, quick reminder, you're, you're gifting people things, tis the season. You should get them stuff from mythical.com. You should ask for things from mythical.com. Check out mythical.com. Check it out. You're gonna be surprised at how much stuff is over there that you're gonna want. At least in, 15 things. In boxes, bags, stockings, uh, whatever. You're gonna want it, and then you're gonna wanna give it to people, but uh, in order to get it to them by the holidays. If you're in the United States. Yeah, take it from here, Rhett. I'm, I'm totally out of gas. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think our international uh, deadline is already passed, unfortunately. Right. But if you want, if you're in the United States and you're shipping it to someone in the United States, including yourself in the United States. Yep. Today is the cutoff. Today is the cutoff. So That's this December is 9th, for 2022. For standard shipping. For standard shipping. For standard shipping. Uh, there's other shipping options that may be able to like extend the deadline a little bit, but like standard shipping. Guaranteed to arrive by the holidays. Last chance to order. Mythical.com. Uh, we didn't finish answering the question. Nope. No. Uh, and I think that 
It depends. Again, what's the grace period for being over 15? Because I've been over 15 because it's, but it was in a like, oh, oh, hey, I, it's actually 18 Carney items because I did zero. Didn't. There's no grace. Yes. No, I, I, I don't. There's no I grace. I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> oh, wow. You have a big problem with it. Yeah, it's like, who do you think you are? Like, you're not... Just someone who can't count to 15. No. Okay, you've got 16, that's fine. But people have, like, a shopping cart, and they go in there. It's like, you're not better. I've never done that. I've never done that. And I typically... And I'm just saying there's a couple of times when I was like, oh, there, oh it turns out underneath that thing, there was an addition. Oh, two little things down there. Oh, I'm sorry. And I usually point it out and say, oh, well, I'm sorry. That's more than 15, isn't it? You know, just I just feel like to acknowledge it, it goes a long way because then people can't get mad at you. I was just, you know? I'm totally lost because when you said under 15, I was still thinking about like under 15 minutes. Yeah, you, you know what, you'll be fine. Uh, I hey. um, what I like maybe to do, do is I like to yeah, find uh, go back into back there. like right. large leaves to put over items 16, 17, and 18. You've done this? Yeah, Brett, I've done that. I've found large leaves. Oh, large leaves. leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You mean, you, you, you mean. Foliage. Foliage. You find some foliage from the uh, the plant section. Yeah, okay. Y'all okay, making fun so of me, but I am deciding? getting paid. What did you decide? I think that the 15 items or less thing inconveniences more people. Yeah, so, that's a good argument. So, yeah. uh, and it's, and, and actually it's violating a specified rule, whereas the laundry thing is a gray area. Case closed. Walking Case closed. on a rug with your outside shoes versus wearing shoes in the bed. Walking on a rug with your outside yeah. shoes? First of all, y'all, well, this is America. We do that all the time. I'm well, sorry. But the other thing, can you help make sense Sleeping of that? with your shoes on, you don't do that? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life well, I will say, are you leading? I, I, are you I a believe, fireman? I believe it is a very, very much a, uh, an American thing, and there's lots of things that, ab about America that uh, I, I'm not proud of. One of them is the fact that a lot of us, me included, I wear my shoes inside my house, and I wear them right up until the time I go to bed, and I take them off right next to my bed. I walk all around my house. With I, my I don't do shoes. this. I, I take off my shoes the moment I get into my garage and I change into another pair of shoes that are my house shoes. Is this for cleanliness or comfort or both? And which one's more important? Both, man. But listen, the elephant in the room is the, is the shoes in the bed. Like what, what kind of world? Well, of course that's more offensive. I would never do that. Well, Why I will that say even... that there is an executive here. I will not name him. But when uh, we were talking about dating and how, um, you know, he's having a difficult time dating and I asked, um, what are you looking for in a woman? And the first and basically only thing he told me was someone who takes their shoes off before they go into the house. Well, and I'm not kidding about this. And I was like, at the request your, your or just too high. someone who does it invo involuntarily, like it's a test. Like, is she going to take her shoes? Yes. Off? Yeah. That it was, it was the, never that a was thing, the only for, thing. <laughs> for me growing up. Like, you don't uh, seem to think that that's. I thought that that. Oh, was that, very I, I believe that that. Now, I I think it's totally fine because I do think it's ultimately better. It all makes all kinds of sense to take your shoes off before you go inside. I'm not defending my choice, but I think that requiring that of someone as like a test versus yeah. being like, hey, in my house, I don't. I like when people don't have their shoes on when they walk around, and and then if she's like. Okay, and she takes them off. Like, that feels like where you draw the line, right? Yeah, that's important yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. But unprompted, she does this. That's a high standard. You know, house shoes. Huh? Clearly, wearing shoes in bed is the worst crime here. We can move on. I think. Yeah. Are we still thinking about this? No, no. There, that was an easy one. I can't imagine when you want to have your shoes on in bed. Um. Playing your music in public without headphones. Oh, okay, I, whatever the alternative is, it's not as bad as that. Versus bringing children to a horror movie. Horror, horror movie, horror. Well, uh, bringing a child to a horror movie in and of itself is not a bad thing. That's because your mom did it to you. 
Well, no. What 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 are you what are, what is the thing you're trying to avoid? Oh, that kid shouldn't be here and see this, and that's upsetting me. I don't give a damn about that. But is it that kid is crying and being loud? That's a problem. And then the, the offense the, the is thing. you're not taking the child out. That's a big problem. That's Oddly a big enough, problem. Uh, the walk that I stepped in dog poop, I also <laughs> encountered a merging of these things because we passed our neighbors who were playing a who had who have two young kids, and they were playing a podcast very loudly from the stroller as they were walking. And it was a podcast, I guess, about like Horror Greek movies. mythology or something, but it was like, you know, thousands of people died. The, the voices were weird. And then um, something about matricide. And I was like, this is such an interesting, loud podcast for the entire neighborhood to listen to. Stevie, you're talking about story of the world. Children. And it is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like you need to get on that story of the world train. Get the get the get it on tape. Get it on tape. It's great on cassette specifically. Like, take it from me, a former homeschooling family. If you just listened to the substance of it, you would have been hooked. Hooked. Story of the world. It should be shared with everybody. Other than that, keep, like people riding bikes with like big speakers and. Like layering their music, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't get that. I have some, <clears throat> uh, let's just say, friends um, that I have been known to, uh, let's just say, vacation with. Uh, who, let's just say, they like to have a giant speaker on their bike and play music very loudly when you ride around on vacation bikes with them. And I am so not that guy. Like I'm like I try to keep I, I just don't like doing things that draw attention to, to me in that way. Like I'm bringing my music into this place. It's like I just I'm the on the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. And uh, I always feel so weird about it. Like I don't even like playing music at the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like if that person over there, especially in LA, like you're gonna be no more than fifteen, a common theme, feet away from the next person. I, I don't even like them listening to my music. I'm totally fine if you want to play your music. I'm just saying I just I don't like doing things that people can hear. I like staying quiet. <laughs> even when I use foliage to pick up poop, no one I'm hears. Definitely, me. I've definitely brought a speaker to like a to the beach, but I aim it towards me. Conical. I don't know. I don't know. What was the other one? Bringing children to a horror. I yeah. think it's yeah. worse to play your music. Like, let's just let's just outlaw children. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're split on this one. The domestic shipping cutoff date for Mythical store purchases is today. Head over to Mythical.com now to make sure you get Mythical merch on time this holiday season.